Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We will. Peace and salutation, brothers and hosts elect, pushing his work, truth and sincerity. Uh, once again, this lesson is Remember Lot's Wife. Luke chapter 17, verse 28. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day which he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Alright, so if you got something, if you got something, and uh, and the time has come for you to leave, don't look back. Don't go back for these different things because there's nothing here. All right. And then it goes on to say, remember Lot's wife. Why? Verse 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Don't look back. There is nothing here to look back to okay sometimes you know it might the uh, uh, spirit might come on you to be like man thinking about all the different things you might be missing in the world but think about it all the fashion of this world hastens fast to pass away but the work we're putting in in this truth is everlasting so why would you even put into something that's that's hasten fast to pass away first of all and second of all the, the things of the world are wicked they're not even righteous they're not even pleasing unto them father okay let's get this let's get this story this is Genesis chapter 19. We'll start at verse 12. It says, And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou there any besides son-in-law and thy sons and daughter and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. This was the angels telling Lot, basically, uh, that uh, we, we're getting ready to destroy this place and uh, you, you and your family to get out of here. All right, verse 13. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons and laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons in law. So they didn't they didn't take him seriously. They thought he. They thought. Uh, <laughs> they thought Lot was playing around. Like he, you know, he woke him up. Hey, man, we gotta go. Cause look, you know, God bless you, my stuff and to destroy this place. <laughs> they, <laughs> they woke up. Man, get out of here, man. It, it ain't nothing to happen. He would quit playing. Quit playing. Stop playing. Stop, yes. Lot. Stop playing. And so, get, so you know what happened? Verse fifteen. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. So, they, they got left. The, the, uh, his sons-in-laws got left. Alright? Because they thought he was playing around. Same thing with the people here. They, how they mock, they mock the prophet. They mock, uh, mock us for saying destruction is coming to this place. But it's going to come a time where... <laughs> you they gonna see the destruction, but it's gonna be too late. All right. Verse sixteen. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters. And the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And they set him outside of the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, "Escape for thy life." Look not behind thee. 
neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, least thou be consumed. So he's saying, go forward into the mountain and don't look back. Keep moving till you get there. Okay? And verse 18, And Lot said unto them, O not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. I cannot escape the, to the mountain, lest some evil take me and die. Behold, now this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither, it is not a little one, and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. So he's like, I, I got a city, a whole city I can go to, then I'll be safe there. So they say, Okay, here you go. And I'll spare that city. And it says, Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything until thou become thither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoar. And you see how it says um, that I can now do not can do anything until thou come thither. So they couldn't destroy the place until Lot and his uh, his wife and his daughters were were taken out of there. You know, and the same thing here. You got the four angels holding back the destroying wind. That they cannot destroy this place until the elect are taken out of here. Uh, verse 23 the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered Zoar and uh, the Lord reigned upon Sodom and, and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire and the Lord out of heaven from the Lord out of heaven and he overthrew those cities and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt see that Remember Lot's wife. She was an example to not look back. Don't be loaning and thinking about what you're missing out in this world because you're not missing anything. That's what that really was. Okay. This is uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 57. It says... And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahweh said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And he said unto the Father, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. And Yahweh said unto him, Let the bed, dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? People of the world are dead. They let them take care of, of the, the physical dead. We are here. Uh, he, he's the spirit, you know, spirit of life. We're here to, uh, you know, preach, preach uh, life unto these people. Okay? And another said also, a lot, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home, at my house. A house I said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So you can't come unto salvation looking back, looking back into the world and, and thinking about or trying to make amends, trying to do last minute things, you know, all that. Uh, that you're not fit. You can't be looking back in this thing. Because once again, I say it. What are you missing? This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39. But we, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, destruction, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. We don't draw back. We don't look back. We are only looking forward because forward is the way to the kingdom of heaven. So, call Hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, Kakodash. I uh, hope you edify. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Shalom.